How's it going, everybody? Matt Borey here. As always, doing some video poker training on Thursday nights. And that is quite all right, Mr. Brain. I know you said you were busy, so I was just going to hop right back into things. Come on. It says we're supposed to be live. I don't know why this always takes so long. There we go. Let's mute that real quick. All righty. Now we're back. Now we're cooking with gas. How's it going, everybody? Lucky Mr. B is here. Uh, yeah, I got to get the microphone from my dad's house. I got a nicer microphone. Lucky Mr. B, I saw you were, um, yeah, I've got a, a really fancy one. It's just at my dad's house, so uh, I think I'll have to just grab that. So I uh, started off uh, our challenge this week as Ultimate X Gold. The winner of the challenge last week was Melanich with 11855 uh, I'm going to send the email tomorrow to videopoker.com. You'll have your one-month pro training. Um, and yeah, the, uh, if you want to scroll, uh, let's see here, refresh this page. Let's see if anybody's played yet. Yes, yeah, somebody has. So the challenge this week is ID five, two, three, four, six, six. Just look for challenger, the jackpot gents. It's ultimate X gold. Lucky Mr. B. I saw you were doing that vertical live streaming. Is it, it I, we're going to try one next week. Is it hard to do or no? I, I assume you just go in the YouTube app and just start a live stream straight up and down, right? I'm going to play some Ultimate X, 10 play, double double bonus, uh, 9 5, because it's what they have at the Hard Rock, and this is what I'm going to train on because we've been playing this a bit recently. And I would like to know how to play it. We finally had a good week of filming this week. You guys, there's going to be some good content coming out. I think that's going to be the second week in April we're filming for right now. So there will definitely be some good content coming out then. Wow, look at this. Right off the bat, first mistake. This is double-double. You keep ace-queen. Interesting. I wonder why. Let's see. View EV details. First hand. I guess, yeah, because you can get a possible higher multiplier. So the, uh, uh, no, it's still easier to get a full house holding just the ace. I guess from the uh, two pairs where you'd get your, no, where the heck is this extra? Oh, the straight is where you're getting extra EV from. Uh, yes, but this is not jacks or better. This is a uh, double double bonus. So you only you normally only keep the ace, but since it's uh, ultimate X, you uh, what I call go fishing for the next hand. Let's see. So here I'm gonna say ace or uh, queen king. How did I play that one wrong before? Oh, okay. Uh, well. It's too late now. It was a uh, ace queen offsuit with a few other cards there. I'll slow down moving forward. Let's shut this dynamic replay off. With that many multipliers, I'm gonna say it's just those two, and it's not. We keep three to the flush. Okay. Let me see if I can uh, zoom in a bit here to make it easier to see. Yeah, is that, uh, I can probably even go a little bigger here. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Well, that could work right there. Let's see if this works. It's framed well on my screen. Now, I always wondered if you kept 10 jack queen in this with almost no multipliers. So let's see. You do. Okay. 56. Now let's see if there's there's got to be a point here where you don't keep this. Let's see. Pick cards. We'll go all the way up to, let's call it halfway up, 60 times multiplier. It was jack of hearts, queen of diamonds, ten of clubs, three of spades, two of hearts. Three of spades, two of hearts. 
Uh, no, Tracy, that is, again, for this Ultimate X uh, game that I'm playing to add, get this bonus feature for the multipliers on the following hand. you got to double your bet to activate those. You still keep it. Okay, even up to a 60 times multiplier. Okay, scenario number one. We will go over that again. I'd be interested to do scenario number one in Double Double Bonus, because I'm interested to see how differently it would play out only getting the 10 times multiplier instead of the 11 times multiplier. Well, what was number two? We'll go over that. Okay. So I believe with this many, uh, well, you're going to do that no matter what. That's straight. Okay, well, let's do that then. We're going to do edit game settings. We're going to go to bonus poker, 6-5. Yes, that's the that's the double-double bonus there, Taylor. Or Tracy, excuse me. I can't even read. No wonder. Uh, I can't read because that screen is small. So let's see then if we're going to pick our cards. It's going to be pair of jacks. With three face cards, four to the flush, and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, another deuce there. Remember the entire scenario first. It would be four to the flush versus a high pair with uh, one face, uh, one high card, two high cards, and three high cards. So we're going to do a 15x. And then we're going to do, I think that should do it, right? So the three cases that have a threshold is, um, if it's a pair of aces, it is 1.1, I believe. Here, I believe, with these, at the... No, the aces, you always hold it. I'm confusing myself here. That's a three to the royal, though. All right. So it's the aces. You always hold the aces no matter what, I think. I know it's a, one of them is a 1.1 threshold. The other one is a 1. Point, oh, okay, then I'm confused. I've lost... I've uh, backpedaled here. I'm actually going to text my dad right now to tell, uh, as a reminder, to add the cheat sheets. Okay, well, then let's do that. There are three cases that have a threshold, one of which is um, pair of jacks, or jacks, queens, or kings, with two high cards, three high cards, I think, and then the pair of aces is with uh, just two high cards, I think it is. I am drawing a complete blank here. How did I forget all of this from last week?
Oh, four to, yeah. The best four to the flush, which would be three high cards. And then the... Uh, But there's not, it's, if there's just one high card, I believe you always hold the jack, right? So it's, uh, so it's the aces, a pair of aces versus uh, four to the flush with three high cards. Then it would be jacks, queens, or kings versus four to the flush with two or three high cards. No, uh, 12 would be the highest multiplier on this, Tracy. So if you look here, you can go all the way up to a 12x multiplier if you get the full house. An 11x on the flush and 8x on the straight. The three thresholds were 1.1 was 1 and then it was uh, 1 point, I think it was 1.1 and 1.4 was it not? I think it was with any multiplier at all you keep the aces, I believe. Was it one one and one six? Oh, one point oh is the threshold. Okay, so if it's one point one or higher, so let's try this. Jack with two high is one point one, and then Jack with three high, one point five. Okay. All right, I'm going to remember that. I'm screenshotting this chat right now so I don't forget. Must be higher than the threshold, not equal. Okay. And the, what, what we're talking about, if you're not familiar here, is on bonus poker, right? Wait, wrong button. Pick the cards. So if you have a pair of jacks, Three high cards. And we'll do an 11 times multiplier, right? Getting interesting ads on uh, YouTube right now, that's for sure. Yes. So this is one of the scenarios we're talking about. When you're playing bonus poker, Ultimate X... If you get dealt this, if you're on regular bonus poker, you'd always hold the jacks. But in Ultimate X, because if you look at this, if you get a flush, you're going to get an 11 times multiplier on your next hand. Well, 11 total multipliers. So this going for the flush, what I call the fishing, becomes uh, you have to do that because... Since you're doubling your bet, it's really, really hard to win back your money unless you have any multipliers. So you kind of want to try and fish for these bigger multipliers. So I believe this is going to be incorrect here. Yes. So not many times in regular video poker do you hold uh, a losing hand instead of a winning hand. So if you look there, and if you look at view EV details... While, if you look, so the way this is broken down is the top number is what the hand itself is worth. The bottom number is how much EV uh, the possible multipliers on the next hand are worth. So if you look here, the pair of jacks is worth 82, and the four to the flush is only worth 62. However, your uh, multiplier on the next hand is only worth 71 on the pair of jacks. And it's worth a over 100 on the 4 to the flush because if you get a pair of jacks, you're only going to get a 2 times multiplier if you don't improve. If you improve to this on a flush, you'll have an 11 times multiplier. So that's why you're going to go for this here. Yeah, I just did, I did a 1.1 1 .1 average multiplier here just because I knew it was going to be incorrect. So if you look here... That was with just one two times multiplier. So if we change this now and go uh, same exact hand, jack, ace, king, three of diamonds. And now if we go to like 19, the sum of all the multipliers, and then we're going by average multiplier. So since it's 10 play, you got to divide it by 10. 
and then another jack, right? So you saw, see this, the flush is worth more than the jack. That was with only one two times multiplier there. Now if you get all these two times multipliers, you would think that since it said hold four to the flush before, you'd want to do that again, but that would be incorrect. So now the jacks become worth more because in Ultimate X, the higher the, the multipliers are on the screen, the sum of them all, the more likely you are to play regular strategy. Because the, um, you know, if you already have multipliers, that's overcoming the fact that you have to double your bet. Uh, pair of jacks, ace, king, queen. The straight, you're going to, that's a different scenario, but we could go over that here. But if you look, this is bonus poker now. I was started out on double double. This is uh, just regular bonus poker, right? And if you see, if you get four aces, it's going to pay 400 credits. If you get four uh, fives through kings, which would include jacks, queens, and kings, it's only going to pay 125. So that's why uh, the threshold changes when you have aces. Oh, three to the royal. Um, then you would go, well, that was three to the royal there, but. Now, this was one, th I, I don't think, yeah, you're going to do that. Oh, I didn't even see that inside straight there. Well, anyways, I wanted to uh, practice the double-double uh, today. So... We're going to go to double double bonus 9-5. And then if you look, since now we switched to double double, the pay table changed. You've got the, um, your four aces pays uh, twice as much as it just did before. Your four twos, threes, and fours pays twice as much as it did before, and then it adds the two lines for the four of kinds with the kicker. And on these multipliers, um, the flush has now gone from 11x down to 10x. Gosh darn it, shut that off. I do know here, you go three to the flush with the ace high. But now, now, so let's just see here. If I go pick cards, right? If we go pair of jacks, ace, king. Uh, so it was. It was 1.5. So we're going to do 16 here. And see if this. I actually, I should have gone 14 here. Okay, so that's still correct. Keeping the jacks here. But now I wanted to do... I picked the wrong... I went the wrong way on that multiplier here. Three. We're going to go 14 here with the jacks. So you did keep the jacks there, even at a 14. So I guess that that one extra thing on the uh, or one less multiplier on the flush does change the strategy a bit. Huh? Look at that. So I guess probably on double double, you're going to keep two face cards over the ace most times because it opens you up to the straight.
Okay, I, I get that. Yeah, I didn't, uh, I had never looked at the strategy too much either. I just, I know that at the Hard Rock, they have uh, quarter nine five double double, and you can do it on five play at uh, Casino Dania Beach. The best double double they have for Ultimate X is uh, eight five. So I just, uh, my dad and I have been uh, uh, dabbling in it uh, at the Hard Rock just to change things up. And you're never going to believe it, Mr. Brain. I played Ultimate X with my dad this past week. He complained the whole time, and we lost money. I have the worst luck with him on that game. I don't think you go 10 Queen King, I wouldn't think, right? Yeah, no. uh, Ultimate X Gold. Well, we did both, but we did play Ultimate X Gold. We did the triple play, and, you know, it's... Oh, okay, so you need two high cards there as well. And the triple play Ultimate X Gold just does not... I don't think it translates well to our videos since we have such a small uh, time frame for those videos and the, you know, you have to play so many hands on average to hit those four of a kind, so... Well, I know it has a positive EV, I... That positive EV is probably not going to happen in, in a 20 uh, to 30 minute window, I feel. Ooh, 3000 and a $2,000 jackpot. Nice. We actually we hit it. We finally hit another hand pay filming this week. And man, it was since I'm leaving for Italy next week, we had to get ahead. We had to film 11 videos in one day uh, yesterday. That was a long day of filming, let me tell you what. Sevens, okay. Got to be three to the straight flush here. Where are we going in Italy? So we're flying into Rome. We're staying two days in Rome, and then we're going to the Amalfi Coast. Uh, we haven't decided which of the, like, six towns in the Amalfi Coast we're going to yet. Now, I'd assume with this 10x multiplier, what is this? This would be two, that's five, six, seven, eight, 18, 19, 21, 23, 25. So with a 2.5 times multiplier, I would think that it's going to be regular strategy here and just keep the ace. If you have any recommendations, Susie, let us know. We're renting a Fiat. Holly wanted to drive uh, wanted to drive in a Fiat in Italy, so I have a Fiat rented for us for the week. I'm renting it uh, once we leave Rome. Because I was told you don't really need a car in Rome and the parking is uh, terrible. No, you're, you're, you're good. I know you had said that you had, uh, you're uh, going through all your taxes, which takes a while, and, which I understand. So I was... Uh, whenever I got an email, I just double-checked to make sure I had no email from you earlier today and then just decided I would just uh, play the games that I wanted to train on myself. So no harm, no foul. So games that you would uh, go to maximize your EV as, so that would be like, um, well, anything with a progressive for the royal or the four of a kind. Yeah, single line. Yeah, three play, five play, ten play, or uh, super times pay because you get a multiplier in that, but the strategy doesn't change at all. So, um, 
or any of the other goofy games that we play, like uh, Hot Roll, su uh, Super Hot Roll. Um, trying to think of other stuff that... Um, Lucky Suit would uh, do it. That crazy one with the wheel that we played with the two wheels that spin on the inside of each other. Oh, I forgot about Dice Fever and Atomic Fever, yeah. I guess even that deal draw game uh, would be the same. So the games that don't fall into that category would be Ultimate X, uh, Ultimate X Gold, uh, Split Card, Six Card, and uh, Bonus Wild, I think. I don't think I'm missing any. Am I? Did I miss any? I just wish they made that deal draw game with good pay tables. I thought the strategy for deal draw didn't change though because it's you're just getting paid extra on the deal on those uh, 10 hands and then you still would just play the bottom hand normally. Oh yeah, multi-strike, definitely multi-strike. And what's real crazy is I've seen the strategy that Gene Scott wrote for multi-strike super times pay. They do have one machine with both of those built in, and I think there's like, that strategy is like 23 pages long or something insane like that. There's mom. Hi, mom. So multi-strike, Tracy, if you want to, I don't know if you follow our other channel, Tracy, but it's the, the jackpot gents here. I'll, I'll put a link. Dot com slash D at sign D jackpot gents. Hang on, I'm pulling it up right now. So Tracy, I'm not sure. Um, oh yeah, I could probably play it here. Let's see if we can play it here. I don't think I'm pro training, but let's see. Edit game settings. Uh, M. Multi strike. No, they don't have it in pro training, but let's do play video poker. Here, I'll show you, Tracy, since you're not familiar. Uh, multi strike. This is kind of a fun game. It's I know, I very much enjoy this. I think this was a great game that they made. Uh, let's just do double double, just because it's fun. Ten six. Well, no, let's not do that. Custom pays. Edit. Double, double. We'll do 8, 5, because I think this is what they have at Coconut Creek. But, uh, I mean, I think that makes sense. The basic games, uh, or... I'm trying to think here. So, Tracy, the way this works is... So, on those... Uh, the game we were playing before, Tracy, we were playing 10 hands... You bet all 10 hands, and then you got to play all 10 hands every time. The way this one works is it's it's only five credits per hand. There's no bonus bet. However, you have to bet all four hands, and you only make it up to the next one if you get a winner on the bottom one. So see, even though we just uh, we bet for all four hands, we only got to play one of them. So then eventually, once you get a winner down here. Eventually you'll get a winner. So there. So you got a winner on the bottom one, then you go, which has no multiplier, then you go up one, and now you're playing at a two times multiplier, and you lose again. Eventually we'll make our way all the top. So if you get a winner there, and then now you're on the two times multiplier. Uh, but then, so you get a winner on the one X, you go up to the two X. You get a winner on the 2x, you go up to the 4x. You get a winner on the 4x, you go up to the 8x. 
and the free ride will randomly show up every once in a while, and then you, you get to go up a line whether or not you won. It ma does not matter. So here we go. So we won on the first line. Now we're up to the second line. And the strategy does change a little bit. You, you just So there we won on the second one. So now we're in the third line. We have a four times multiplier. Ooh. And now we got all the way up to the 8x multiplier. And so you see we bet 20, we won 115. So. I like the basic and advanced. But yeah, as Mr. Brain said, on the bottom two lines, you're not going for the highest win possible. You're just trying to get any win just to get you up a line. So like here, in this one, you would keep the, t instead of holding the two twos and hoping for a third two, you're just going to hold the ace and the jack and hope that you can get either one to pair up like that. And then now once you get up to the third line, you go back to basic strategy. And then, of course, you don't win, but... But if you only have one face card, you keep the low pair. Yeah, I mean, for a, go for, going for a royal, that's, that's a huge win that you've got a shot at. And, like, I wouldn't even go for a three to the flush here. Or the inside straight. I would just go for the queen and try and get a second one. Two face guards here. There we go. We got it. So there's your free ride, Tracy. So now, I, just to show you how the free ride works, Tracy, I'm just going to throw this hand away. Uh, it did not have pro training. I don't know if it has gold training. So I'm going to just throw this whole hand away and hopefully get a loser. Uh, we got a winner anyways. But e So even if we had gotten a loser there, Tracy, it still would have bumped us up a line. Now, since you're at the 8x and we're in double-double, we're going to keep just the aces and hope for two more. Or not. Now, here, I'm going to go for the open-ended straight. With the two high cards, though, I don't think we're going to go for the open-ended straight. I'm just going to take the two high cards and was supposed to win there, but... Yeah, Fortune, that is, that's a good point, Mr. Brain. We didn't touch on Fortune X. And my goodness, I saw somebody playing Fortune X at Dania the other day. I saw them hold. They were playing Fortune X Deuces Wild. They took a, uh, what is the second one? A three times multiplier, I believe, and held a two to the straight flush. I was aghast. Now, does it say how often the free ride comes up? Let's take a peek. No, help. No, maybe I'm in the middle of a hand. Let's wait till we're... Help. Yeah, so let's see. Card, two card deck. No, it doesn't say how often it happens. It's just randomly. I would assume it's going to change from game to game, where if you're in a more volatile game, it's going to happen less often. Hey, it worked. Now, here's the question. On this one, on a 2x, would you go 3 to the royal? I mean, it's still going to be very hard to fill in the straight. If you go 3 to the royal, you could get fill in a jack and win. You could fill in an ace and win. You could somehow fill in a queen and a king and win, or two, two more clubs to win. Almost. I would think so, right? 
Because just by keeping that three to the royal, you open up. There's more cards that could give you a winner, I think. Or you have more chances to give in, uh, get a winner with those two face cards that you had. And you do still have a chance at that royal, so... I mean, mind you, that was the weakest royal we could have had, but or three to the royal, but um, I hear you're going to go just the ace. I don't know why no casinos offer this game. Maybe because it's just, it's the the graphics on it are so old. I think if they refreshed this game, I think it would do well. Oh, the big news, guys. My new boat came in today. I picked it up. So very excited about that. Holly picked the colors. Everybody has been raving about the colors, and it was Holly that picked it, so... Now here, I think I'm going to go three to the straight flush. Uh, no, it's, it's not periwinkle. It's navy. It's a navy blue hull with like a, a khaki, like sand colored uh, deck. I think I'm going three to the straight flush here. It's only one gap. Hey, it worked. Forty-four. Show us some more. There's another. Wow, that was only the second free ride we've gotten. Well, now that we've seen Multi Strike, I did want to go back to uh, Ultimate X because um, I did want to train on that a bit more. So. Poker with the wheel jackpot. I can do that. Let's see. Do, I don't think they have it in pro training, though. They have wheel poker. Not sure that's the one that I want, but let's try it. I know the strategy does change in, in some of these wheel poker games because you want to be more aggressive going for the four of a kind because that is what uh, C pays. Is it? Yeah, so any of the four of a kinds are going to give you a wheel spin here. So this is actually kind of cool. Okay, three scenarios is a uh, pair of aces versus four to the flush with three high cards. If you have any multiplier at all, you keep the aces. If you have no multipliers, you keep the uh, four to the flush with three high cards. If you have a pair of jacks, queens, or kings, and you have four to the flush with three high cards, the threshold is 1.5. It needs to be higher than 1.5. And then the other one is uh, if it's two, uh, four to the flush with two high cards, it's, uh, the threshold is 1.1. It needs to be uh, higher than 1.1. Eight, nine, ten, jack. We're going to go for that, I believe. All right, let's hopefully we can spin the wheel here. Let's get a four of a kind. Uh, yeah, sorry. That's on... Uh, I had my dad copy one of the old ones while I was out picking up my boat today to make the placeholder, and it must have had the slow mode turned on. Yeah, so here I'll I'll show I'll just trigger it once since I can pick the cards here. Oh look at that, you don't go for inside straights. Okay. 
So let's just, I'll show you, uh, uh, Tracy, so we can see here. King, 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 six. So look, so you get the four of a kind here. So we got it, so we're going to get five wheel spins. So now, if you're in the casino, this wheel would be a physical wheel on top of the machine. But since we're on videopoker.com, it's just dropping down as its own screen. But normally this would be a physical wheel above the machine. So look, that one, that four of a kind was 250 coins for the base four of a kind. And then we got 600 on the wheel spin. So that one was worth 850. Let's see what this one's worth. How's it? Woo! Woo! We did it! Okay, this is. Yeah, I was just about to say that, that this was a bit uh, aggressive here. Uh, dealing myself a four of a kind this is going to take a while and i do believe this is a weighted wheel i do not think that you have an even chance of getting every single one this older version might be might be a regular wheel but i know the newer versions like the uh uh super times pay wheel poker that is a weighted wheel you do not have the chance of getting the same chance of getting all uh, whatever, 10, 12 segments, whatever it is. Let's see. And the way you can tell if it's a weighted wheel is... Help. Okay, so it doesn't say. So I believe this older version is not a weighted wheel. So it is an actual wheel. So however many segments there are, that's your chance of getting it. Well, so if you look, I'll, I'll, see, I'll show you how you can tell if it's a weighted wheel. So if we go to play video poker, right, they're not going to have this on gold training. Let's see. Super times pay wheel poker. This one, right? Let's just get this to load here. So if you go to 10 play, right? Um, pays. So see this says an average of 752.11. Uh, unfortunately, we can't show the wheel here, but what it is is, so if you added up all of the uh, segments, if you added up the values in all the segments and divided it by how many segments it was, if that actually came out to 752.11, uh, then it would not be a weighted wheel. It would You'd have the same exact odds of getting any segment on that wheel. However, I did this in a casino. I did the math. And uh, it did not equal 752. So that's how you can tell. But I think the other wheel poker, since it did not say what the average wheel spin was, I believe that means that it was the regular odds of the wheel. So the near miss, my dad and I have actually discussed about that because I swear that the machines nowadays... Uh, are so the near miss that they were talking about was it it was originally some slot machine manufacturer I don't want to name a name because I don't know which one it was but what it was is they had it built into the machine where if the RNG spun and it came up as a losing spin a secondary RNG would then spin and just dis decide if it was going to be a near miss so while that is illegal, we're having the secondary function to tell you if it's going to be a near miss. I swear that the, the casinos that, or the slot manufacturers have found another way to. Oh look, we got a spin. I think they've found a way to uh, skirt that regulation because I swear it happens more often than it should. Oh, 
yeah, that bonus round, and that thing screws you all the time on that. You're talking about if you, uh, that's the banking slot machine where if you get the bingo card using the free spot in the middle, it gives you the wheel spin, right? I saw a vulture at Hard Rock yesterday while we were filming, uh, spinning through all the Fortune X screens to see if somebody had left any. And I, we see each other all the time, and I finally just asked him. I was like, do you ever actually find any positive screens on that Fortune X? And he said, like, once a month. But that dude is there every single day. I can't imagine that. I 100%. I, I agree with you, Mr. Brain. I, I definitely think that somehow the regulation has either changed or the casinos have found a way to skirt that regulation because I swear the near misses are like common play in, in slot machines nowadays. Wait, you know what? Hold on. There is another game I wanted to do that I wanted to train on. Quick quad single line. Double double bonus because they added this on the, uh, the five star machine they put in the high limit room. So I did want to, I did want to, I knew there was another game I wanted to practice on. It was this. This one you do have to bet more. Yes, it's one extra coin per hand. It's going to be the sevens. So the way this game works is, so this, we were very close. So if this was an ace instead, this is how quick quads works. If you have the three sevens like this and the other two cards, any three of a kind, that's not face cards, and the other two added together equal uh, this number. So if this was, instead of a six and a two, this was a six and an ace or a five and a two, it would have just paid us for the four of a kind. So this, that's what it, it, the feature is, is if this was, if these other, if you have a three of a kind and the other two cards add up to that, uh, it counts as a four of a kind. So let's see, we have threes, but nothing's gonna add up to that, so. Keep the ace. Alexa, stop! Alexa's talking to me from the other room. So here is, I believe the three, well no, you can only get an ace, so I don't know if you would keep this here or not, let's see. Yes, you would. Okay. So pretty much you're going to keep any pair, and then if there is another low card, uh, a card lower than the number below it, you, you would keep that one. So here, you've got the three eights, but both, since both of these cards, well, face cards don't matter in quick quads, but since 10 is higher than 8, you can't get anything to add with the 10 to make eight, so you're gonna just keep the three of them. And you don't get anything, but. Try six, six, four, okay. Let me see. Uh, pick cards. Six, six, four, 
uh, 10, uh, 9, I guess. 6, 6, and then do we keep the 4? No, we don't. Hmm. So 3, 3, and then the 2 I think we keep, right? Yeah. So again, if that was an ace, it would have counted as four threes. But now, let me ask you this, because I've never played this. Hold on. I want to see. So if we do three, 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 deuce, ace, right? Is this going to count as four of a kind with a kicker or not? That's the question. No, it doesn't. Okay. Quick quads. Okay, so that's what I was wondering, because you do have a kicker there, so I, I was uh, curious how that worked in Double Double. Let's see, 5, 5, 4, 9, 10. No, so even the fives, you know. So maybe on maybe on double double it's just the bonus hands that you do it with, but no, I don't know. Let's see, pick cards four four two two ten. Because I think this one you would definitely keep because if you get a four, it's gonna complete the four of a kind. If you get a two, it's gonna uh, complete the full house. So I think you would still keep that, right? Yeah. Let's see, pick cards. Four, four, deuce, nine, ten. Four, four, two, let's see. No, you don't. Interesting. So I wonder why it's just the three. Oh wait, well well let's try four four three. Hold on. Because I think, I think it, it, I bet if you keep, it's four, 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 three, I bet you keep it. Nine, ten. So let's see. Four, four, three, I bet you keep, watch. See, yeah, it's the, um, oh, okay, but it's, it's, the doubles is where it throws you off in this game. Let's see, Royal Flush, baby! Hey, well, we got a straight. I still wasn't expecting that, but. But yeah, I don't think I can play this game not knowing the strategy of $5 denomination. I would need to have the, the uh, strategy chart printed and in my hand and referring to it quite often. Three twos and two aces would pay you, uh, it would pay you for four deuces, I believe. So let's see, deuce, 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 ace, ace. Quick quads. Quick quads. Yeah, see, so it, it counts as four deuces because it's two, 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 and then if you add those up, those together, make two, gives you four deuces. So I guess you would keep the ace kicker in this then, right? Yeah, so I think any three of a kind, if you have if one of the remaining two cards is lower than that number, you're going to keep one of them. Yeah. But then, so let's see, if it's four, 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 ace, eight, I think you're going to keep the ace kicker no matter what in this game, I would think, right? Because you keep the ace kicker, you get a three, it's going to give you a four of a kind, or you get a four, it's going to give you four aces with a kicker. Okay, yeah. Pick cards. What did you say to try? Nine, 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 eight, king. Nine, 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 eight, king.
I think you would still hold the eight, no? Yeah. I have very, very limited experience with quick quads, but from the little training that I have done, I believe you keep the second, or if you have three of a kind, if one of the last two is anything lower, I think you keep it. 10, 10, 10, 9, king. Let's see. 10, 10, 10, 9, king. Still do it. No. So, Tracy, that game that does work with face cards is called Fast Fours. That's a very, very old game. Uh, that, But there's no additional bet on that. They lower the pay table. So, Fast Fours, you can. It does work with the um, face cards. In Quick Quads, it does not. And Quick Quads requires a bonus bet as well. Eight 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 four king. I wouldn't think so, cause I I think any of them with uh, if it's exactly half, it's gonna uh, mess you up there, cause uh, it eliminates your chance at a full house. So I think it's just the eights here. Yeah. And let's try it with sixes. Six 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 three king. So I think any any three of a kind, if the fourth card is exactly half, I don't think you keep it. Oh, that one you do. That's weird. Okay. Huh. You were right. To me, it does, that doesn't make any sense why the 8884 is uh, not worth the exact same as the 6663. Some of the holds in this, I just don't understand why you would do it. I just do them because that's what the strategy says. Oh, uh, okay. I guess so. Yeah, because the higher the higher the number, the more uh, combinations there are. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, the three. Look at that. I screwed up. All right. So that about does it um, for now for this week. Don't forget Monday we're on the new, uh, live on the new channel. That will be the last week I'm with my dad this coming Monday. The following Monday I'll be in Italy. My dad will be by himself. There will be one more training next Thursday though because I don't leave for Italy till the weekend. So there is training next Thursday. I leave for Italy that weekend. So live stream this coming Monday me and my dad. Uh, training next Thursday. Um, maybe my dad will come, who knows, doubt it, but possible, and then I leave for Italy that week, so there's no training the week of April, let me pull up my calendar, April 11th, there will not be a training. So, yeah, so thanks for joining everybody, hopefully I'll see you Monday night, live from the casino with my dad. Thank you, Janet. I'm sure we will have a great trip. It's Holly's 30th birthday.